yesterday, Jagex confirmed that they are looking into some changes for necromancy, and they have also confirmed some stuff that is going to be coming on the update on Monday. Now, a lot of people in my comments have been worried about big nerfs coming to necromancy and saying that I'm going to get the combat nerf because I keep saying how good it is. Now, listen, Jagex are more buffing necromancy right now than nerfing it. So in this video, we're going to go through the buffs and the nerfs that are coming to necromancy. And for those of you that aren't sure what they exactly mean, we're going to explain them as well. Hopefully you find this video useful and let's go. So we're going to split this video off into three different sections being nerfs, buffs, and we're also going to just do other worthwhile mentions, which is like quality of life and stuff. So to keep things positive, let's start off with the buffs. Now, the biggest buff that is going to be coming is a slight buff. I don't think it's that slight. I think it's going to be pretty damn good to the tier 95 main hand, the Omni Guard. Now, the Omni Guard has a passive effect, which every time you do a basic attack, you gain a stack. And once you reach six stacks, the next basic does double damage. Now, this is being reduced down from six down to five. This is only one stack, right? But this is going to add up a lot during longer fights such as like a Karabakh hard mode fight, for example, you will notice a good amount of damage just purely from this, this passive. However, this weapon spec was already really strong and there is a fix coming for it, which is going to also be a noticeable difference as a buff as well. Now, what's going to happen is when you use the weapon spec, using specific abilities readies those six stacks immediately. So you can use, say, Touch of Death, Finger of Death or Death Skulls and you'll immediately have double damage on your next basic. This has been fixed so that Death Skulls now, because it didn't before, will immediately ready that for you. So you'll have all three of those abilities, whereas in the past we only had the two because it's it's not been fixed until now. Well, I say now, but it's the next patch probably on Monday. A big issue with this weapon spec, though, was that it cost 50% adrenaline, which was pretty difficult to use in some situations. They're dropping this down to 30%. This isn't a slight buff, in my opinion. 50% down to 30% is only 20, right? But it's that's big. That's a lot of adrenaline you save there. And of course, once you've got Ring of Vigor and stuff too, yeah, you're noticing that this isn't that expensive as a thing anymore and you can probably fit it into rotations quite a bit better. So this is a buff that we'll definitely notice. So the next buff could come in two different ways and if it is a buff, that is actually... So the next thing is bloat, right? They've said that bloat is going to be uh, a shorter duration now, which means they're doing the same amount of damage, just faster. Now this is a damage over time ability and it does ticks of damage and hopefully they, what they've done here is it's the same number of ticks, but it's just in a smaller amount of time rather than being being like increasing how much damage it is per tick uh, and it's less ticks of damage also in less amount of time i'm hoping it says it's the same damage just faster hopefully that means there's just the same number of ticks less amount of time the reason this would be a buff is because of split soul the way split soul and soul split works is lower numbers but ticking more often actually ends up being more damage if you hit 10k with just one 10k hit with split soul you're going to get a less damage return from split soul than if you did 10 1k hits that's just how it works because of diminishing returns on the actual scaling of it. So having this actually tick quicker, it just means that you can get those ticks in in a shorter amount of time when you have split soul up. So if this is the same number of ticks, but just quicker, then this is going to be a pretty good buff to adding this into your split soul rotation. I would probably use this. It will be good damage. The final major buff, like I said, there's other things as well, but these are the major ones, right? Uh, is looking at fixing the conjures being pretty much useless in some situations uh, in certain fights. For example, Raksha, the zombie just wanders around like an absolute lost soul and it doesn't really do anything. This also happens in a few other places as well where the conjures just either get stuck or they just don't do anything. <laughs> They're just chilling. You've spent the adrenaline for them and they do nothing. So if they are going to fix this, that's going to be great. This is one that's not going to be coming in like straight away, but it is something they're looking into. So hopefully this does doesn't take too long uh, but I, this will be good this will definitely be a buff in terms of damage because if your zombie is attacking if your skeleton is attacking you're going to notice that damage then when they just get stuck or when they just walk around and do nothing okay so those are the three major buffs there's some other little things here and there which you could consider buffs but we're going to maybe include some of them in the quality of life and also some just aren't really worth talking about right now as for nerfs we have death skulls now death skulls isn't a nerf right this isn't a nerf so but i'm going to include it in here anyway because it's going to feel like a nerf when they fix death skulls which isn't coming next week they haven't got a fix for it yet apparently uh, it is on their list of to do though what's what it's doing right now is it's when you're when you're firing death skulls it bounces to the target and then it bounces to something else or yourself and then it bounces back to the target right now it's double dipping on damage buffs now what that means is if you're using undead slayer perk if you're using the undead um freaking slayer ability if you're using the perk on your armor if you all these things like it's, it's freaking salve amulet everything vulnerability bomb smoke cloud all of these are getting picked up every time it bounces so it'll bounce to it and pick up the, the the damage and then it'll bounce to it again and it'll pick it up again and it'll keep going until eventually it's just hitting 30ks at the cap every single time and so it's freaking strong as shit 
Deskulls right now is completely broken and it is a ton of damage and we're gonna we're gonna notice when this is gone we're gonna notice it but it's not a nerf it shouldn't have been like this in the first place it's a shame that it's taking so long to fix it must just be a confusing thing to fix i just wanted to interrupt past in it here and say that the patch does say that they're looking for an appropriate solution not just like are we getting rid of this so because they said they like damage ramping right so they may look at this scale it back a little bit so it's not a full-on removal we'll have to see what they do it may not just be completely gone but right now it's broken as crap so i'm assuming it's going to be less just maybe not completely gone we'll just have to see what happens uh, but take advantage of it right now look at it as a early bird bonus use it now to get the, the bonuses from it but it's gonna feel bad man when this is gone but they've buffed the, the omni guard as well so hopefully that'll balance out a little bit and hopefully there's some other things that'll keep it balanced a little bit uh, but this is probably the biggest nerf slash fix coming into the game and while this does kind of count as a nerf it needs doing it is broken as crap it it, it needs to happen the next thing that I'm looking at on here that is a pretty big deal, I think, is they said they're possibly looking at changing how conjuring uh, and using commands for conjures works outside of combat. So they're saying that right now you can do it for a zero adrenaline, of course, before you start a fight, you can conjure your things, and then you can also use the command abilities before you like use your, your target cycle or whatever and go on the boss. And this can give you a bit of damage, and it can also give you the healing from the ghost as well. And, and sometimes you can lose your target during a fight, and then allow you to do the same thing again. So you can keep conjuring these and taking advantage of it. This is big, and they said, what they've said, though, is considering rebalances of their adrenaline costs to keep some of this functionality. Uh, so they're saying that basically they don't want to just completely take this away and be like lol now you have to spend adrenaline every time the adrenaline costs for some of these conjures just kind of aren't worth it i think it's 70 percent to use the ghost spec i will not use this out like unless i'm outside of combat there's just a 70 percent adrenaline is for a little bit more healing you're not going to really use this much so hopefully with the rebalancing of the adrenaline costs it can be, it makes it worth it as for if you can't do it, if like if out of combat conjuring them does cost adrenaline still, you'll just conjure them at the uh, crystal rather than inside the fight. You would still do this probably, uh, but you'll just lose a little bit of time on it. So we'll have to see what happens with this, but this could be pretty big and it is definitely worth talking about. As for other nerfs, I saw nothing, not really. There was nothing really in here that indicates they want to nerf necromancy uh, other than the stuff that probably is just, they just didn't imagine that people would be using the commands outside of combat. And of course, Death Skulls is a fix and not a nerf. So it doesn't look like they're looking at nerfing necromancy right now. So maybe the idea is to bring the other combat styles up. We'll have to see what happens. Maybe it's just been not long enough for them to decide, but more buffs than nerfs is definitely good to see. Finally, we have the other worthwhile mentions, which are mostly like quality of life things. Now, there's a few in here that I'm so freaking glad to see. One of them being that Darkness now doesn't clear on Teleport, which is an expensive spell to cast, and it lasts for 12 minutes. It lasts for 12 minutes instead of 4 minutes. This is actually a buff as well as uh, quality of life, because you don't have to recast it during Carapac Hard Mode, for example, or longer fights like Zook. It's going to last for the majority of the time now. You don't have to constantly recast this, uh, which will cost you a global cooldown, but it's also just something you have to remember as well while getting smacked in the face by Carapax hits. So it's, it's worth mentioning as a buff and a quality of life. The next thing is they're extending the time duration for Scythe stages, or they're looking at doing that. Uh, this means that if you cast the first level of Scythe, you don't have to panic rush about casting the next ones. You'll have a little bit longer. You probably still have to like prioritize it still a little bit, but you'll have a little bit longer to use the next stage of it and then the final stage, which is definitely just going to be a nice quality of life to have. Jagex are looking at changing how Necrosis is shown. I This is something that I mentioned on the playtest as well. So I'm so glad that a lot, obviously a lot of people have probably been saying the same thing and they've gone, okay, we need to look at this. And that's it's, it's just on your buff bar right now. And it's a little icon. It shows a number. I've gotten used to it. Don't get me wrong. I have gotten used to it. But I think for newer players and for people who aren't as like adapt to dealing with mechanics, mechanics at certain bosses and looking at their buff bar and looking at their cooldowns having it separate like maybe something along the lines of the way the souls are shown or just a bigger icon that's separate from something else will definitely be nicer whatever they do with this having this shown differently will be very very nice uh, quality of life to have because having the separate is good i would also quite like to see a specific timer for conjures now you can see conjures timeout duration above the head as a bar so it's kind of not 
that big of a deal as much as necrosis but it would be nice to see if you could like separate the conjure timers from something else so you know exactly how many seconds you've got and then that way you're not using uh, like a command ability too close to it running out or if you're going to use life transfer you're not using that uh, when like they're literally going to die at the same tick and you use it and freaking rip right so that, that would be nice to see as well but the necrosis thing definitely will be big and finally the best one as of yet the best of buff i guess it's not even a buff it's just a quality of life is conjures aren't going to close your interfaces now so if you conjure something and then you need to start an instance because the hour's up or you're just starting and you're gonna have a frick sake you don't have to despawn those conjures by taking your offhand off another little tip for you by the way uh you, you could you can just carry on as normal so this is good thank god so as of monday we will be able to just play the game properly without the conjures ruining our day Okay, so that is all the buffs, nerfs, and quality of lives that I wanted to mention from the updates to come. There are things they're investigating, which will probably happen as well if they've mentioned it. And then, uh, yeah, so that, that's pretty much it. So we're going to see some of these coming in on Monday. We're going to see some of these coming in the future, but we will have to see when this happens. And hopefully it stays as it is. And the fact that Necromancy has received more buffs than nerfs and... I'm, I'm just yeah it's good to see that they haven't just gone holy crap we made this strong as shit let's nerf it all so you are weak i don't see that happening for at least a while anyway if they plan to so we'll see what happens but hope you found this video interesting i know it's kind of like the, just the news posts and stuff but i wanted to talk specifically about the buffs and the nurse because i've had some people ask me about uh, what does this mean and misunderstanding that maybe the omni guard was a nerf and not a buff uh, so we're going to clear it up there you go that's what that means hopefully you found it useful hopefully you enjoyed if you did leave a like sub to the channel if you are new and i'll catch you all probably on monday maybe tomorrow we'll see what happens see you later guys bye